Hi all, it's Dr. Lisa, and today I want to talk about egg health and mitochondria and the link between a supplement called MitoPQQ um, and egg health to boost egg energy. So one of the factors that creates infertility is poor egg quality. What does that even mean? There are multiple factors that actually go into an assessment of egg quality. And one of them is the amount of energy available in the egg to power the journey from ovulation through fertilization to implantation. It's a five day journey that the egg has to take completely on its own without any help from you. Whatever is in the egg is, and whatever it has internally, that has to see it through that whole process. And what happens if an egg doesn't have enough energy to power it through? that can create poor egg quality. Often what'll happen is, is either it can't sustain fertilization or it'll fertilize, but it can't implant. Or if you're doing IVF, what it looks like is, is the day the egg will develop for a few days, but it might not actually make it all the way to day five blastocyst stage. So how and what, how does the egg get more energy? What can you do to help it? Now, remember that an egg takes 90 days to develop before it ovulates. It starts as a protofollicle in your ovary. Remember, your uh, women are born with all the eggs, the protofollicles that they're ever going to have. And each month, your body recruits a group of these protofollicles and puts it on the developmental pathway. And you know, 75 days later, one of them gets the golden ticket and gets to continue to develop into follicle stage and then hopefully ovulate. During the time that it's in that 90 day developmental process, it's developing the necessary internal structures to help become a healthy egg. And one of those structures is mitochondria. Now, if you remember way back to high school biology, mitochondria are the little energy factories in the cells. More mitochondria means more energy and your egg is a cell. So it has these mitochondrial structures in it. It has the, the power, that's basically the energy powerhouse in the, in the cell. The older an egg gets, or if an egg, if, if you know the woman has any sort of diagnosis like endometriosis or PCOS, the fewer mitochondria eggs have, uh, tend to have. Fewer mitochondria, in fact, is one of the signs of an older egg. And for women with, for example, premature ovarian failure or advanced maternal age, decreased mitochondria in eggs is one of the reasons why they have trouble getting uh, pregnant. I've actually put a link to a study that mentions this in the description if you're interested. So I mentioned if you have a, a diagnosis of PCOS or endometriosis, your eggs also have fewer mitochondria. The hormonal imbalance that those two issues um, create also can affect egg energy. So what do you do? Clearly, the answer is make more mitochondria. That process is called mitochondrial biogenesis. Genesis meaning to make, bio because it's biology. So how do you do it? Well, the foundation, if you've listened to any of my other videos, as you know, is to eat well and eat healthy because our bodies need the nutrients that food has in order to, basically food is the building blocks that turn into the various structures that we need um, in all of our cells, including eggs. But what else? Well, you take MitoPQQ. It's a supplement that I recommend to my patients because it helps cells make mitochondria. It's from Designs for Health, with this, which is the supplement company that I carry in my office. PQQ is, are you ready for this? I practiced this multiple times and I want to see if I can say it right. And oh, by the way, my cat has decided to make a command performance um, entry and make sure I'm doing my job right. She wants to see if I can say this. Pyroloquine, nope, pyroloquinoline, pyroloquinoline. Quinone. It's a water-soluble vitamin-like substance um, that is an enzyme cofactor, and it encourages mitochondrial biogenesis. In other words, PQQ helps make mitochondria. Now, if you watched my video on CoQ10, you know that CoQ10 also helps mitochondrial function. So how are mitopqq and CoQ10 different? Taking CoQ10 is like 
giving the egg energy. It's like, it's like handing just here's a little bundle of energy egg. Here you go. Mito PQQ helps the egg make mitochondria, which helps it make energy internally. So what you're getting is a way to make more energy. And also with the, with the Mito PQQ and the CoQ10 is like handing the energy to the egg. They complement each other. So that's what I do in my office is I recommend women who have any sort of egg quality issue, take both CoQ10 and Mito PQQ. There are a couple of other really important things about Mito PQQ. Um, it has rhodiola rosea, which helps support adrenal glands. Yay. Anything that helps support the adrenal glands and therefore function better. So they don't release all the stress hormones is always good for egg quality. Um, more importantly, research shows that rhodiola rosea is a powerful herb for helping enhance mitochondrial energy production. So basically it helps the mito PQQ do its job of creating more mitochondria and the rhodiola rosea helps defend against free radicals, which if you listen to my um, liver detox video, then I also talk about free radicals and the fact that, you know, your body needs the various molecules to help contain the damage from metabolizing toxins. And so rhodiola rosacea is one of those things that can help your body deal with those free radicals. So Mito PQQ is really good for helping improve egg quality through creating more energy in the egg by growing mitochondria, but it also helps with the liver detox function. Yay, it's a twofer. So who should take it? Well, women over 35, because advanced maternal age, and again, if you want to know more about the effect of advanced maternal age and mitochondria, you can look at my CoQ10 video. Um, women of advanced maternal age over 35, women who have a diagnosis of endometriosis, PCOS, or premature ovarian failure, basically anything where egg quality is a potential player. Can you take it even if you don't have these issues? Sure. There's no harm in taking it. But you also want to spend your fertility budget wisely because taking all of the supplements that are recommended for fertility can get pretty expensive. So if you have egg quality issues, by all means, add Mito PQQ. But if you don't specifically have egg quality issues, then you may want to wait until you can work with um, a um, fertility um, doctor of some sort, whether it's an acupuncturist or naturopath who can tell you if you actually need to take it. Um, I don't recommend it to patients unless I think there's an egg quality issue. So what I'd like you to do at this point is please comment. And if you have any questions, put them down um, in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video um, with anybody that you think might find it useful, who can learn more about Mito PQQ and what it can do for them. And look in the description box for where to find me on Instagram and Facebook. You can also look at my fertility improving courses at fertilityresetonline.com, where you can also get designs for health supplements at a discount. Thanks so much and see you soon.